In 3ds Max 9, we can place our objects in layers. Let's explore it. For reference, I'm going to use this. Here is the Layers button. Click it. As you click, the Layers window will appear with a layer name at the title bar. Layers are expandable. Just click this plus symbol. This will expand the layer. All objects present in this 3D model are listed in a single layer. This tick means that this layer is currently active. Next to it is Hide. This is so you can hide a whole layer, or you can choose any object present in this layer which you want to hide. Next to it is Freeze. This is the same as Hide, but it will not hide an object, just freeze the selected object, which will turn it to a gray color. Next to it is Render. This teapot symbol shows that an object can be visible during rendering. Now let's click it and make it inactive. And now render your scene. See? It's not visible here. Next is color. Each object is displayed with a unique color. You could put one color for one layer or a set of objects. Just click on the color square and choose the color from layer color. Your selected color will be displayed. Next is radiosity, which is displayed with this symbol, which means that the object is included in the indirect illumination. Here at the top, this is the Create New Layers button. This will create an empty new layer. Just click it. You see, now you have one new layer named Layer 01. You can rename the layer. Just right-click and type the new name here. When you select the layer, this Add Selected Objects to Highlighted Layers button will become active. This will add your selected objects to the highlighted layer. Let's select some objects from our scene by holding the Control button. Now click this plus button. See, all your selected objects are placed in this layer. 